So, you see fit to grace my halls with your presence. This will be the last time. I have no wish to consort with traitors. You have held back this campaign against the tears long enough. After I grind your bones into the dry earth, my disfavored will take back this realm for the vaunted north, and you will be forgotten. Beast woman and Alpha, to kills in shadow, have come hunt disfavored extinct. After many more than five seasons of haunting, finally, now, now, last shadow hunter will slice slaughter, will devour Alpha to ironclads. Will be Archon to ironclads bones that are being ground between Beast Woman's killing teeth. Would that I had killed you back in Vendrian's well. Had I a moment of foresight, I would not have hesitated to twist your head from your neck. Fatebinder, this doesn't need to happen. Please! It is short-sighted for Archon to stand against Archon. The two of you would be more powerful as equals and collaborators. I beg that you consider another option. Do not force me into mediating your squabble. The protests of your companions are nothing to me. As far as I'm concerned, they are all as corrupted as you. Archon, no. I am still your good northern soldier through and through. My loyalty, my place in the phalanx. Gone. All of it. We are finished. And I remove you from my legion and my protection. No sooner will I return to the north than your family will be disgraced. Your celebrated name made to rot in the public square. Gather, my legion! We will see this pestilence dispatched for the battlement of war! Fatebinder, prepare yourself! Humor an old man and his regrets. You are on a path to incredible power. A path that I walked long, long ago. There was strength, victory, triumph. Everything an Archon of War should expect from a life so accomplished. But there was also pain. Had I another century to describe it, I could not explain the punishing agony of my devotion. My soldiers grew to depend on me, and I gifted them my protection. But I also took their harm upon myself. I had the strength to endure for a time. Every gutting, every crushed bone, every death, I took it all upon myself to spare my troops. You must be prepared to do the same. Your rise to power is no matter of personal glory. It touches all who trail in your wake. When you... <sighs> when you ascend, you won't be alone. Far from it. There will be others who look to you. You will be responsible for them in... in more ways than you can know. Take care with those who follow you. Depend on each other. But harden yourself to accept the burden of their love. Devotion can bite deeper than any spear. I hope that you are prepared for what comes next. Because... Because Kairos... will not... make it... easy.
Alpha smells. Mm. Alpha to kills in shadow, slayed his favorite, called Craven Ash. Was best death. But Beast Woman would have liked to rend muscle from bone, ripped on skin, mold and mangle more. Mm. Not much, just some. Strips of blood swallow final cries of dying whimper. Wanted to watch die more than five times over. Fate binder wants beast woman. is sleeping. Maybe it's a good time to pry from iron shell to carve claws into skin and lick willing blood trails. What's wrong with him? Pull it together, big guy. I know you're strong enough to make it through this. Your service, Fate Binder. What do you need? Fatebinder, I don't know what came over me. How long have I been like this? Please don't thank me. The last thing I need or want is a hug from the shambling junk heap. All the same, I appreciate it. Had I continued to drown in my sorrow, I might have rusted solid and never moved again. I am not the man I once was. I don't know how I can ever move beyond the death of the great general. By distancing myself from the Legion and his protection, I suppose I'll have to learn. Welcome back, asshole. You scared me for a second there. What can I do for you? 